Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you some tips on the basics of editing using Adobe Premiere Pro. So in the last videos, we talked about the timeline and the project media bin. So let's put that all together and actually edit a quick project together. So I have my clips in this folder here, and I can just click and drag them all out together if I want to just throw them all in the track, or do one by one if I want to arrange that way. Once I have them all on the track, I can make sure they're in the right order I want. So perhaps I want to start with this phone shot and then move over until it gets later at night. So we put our clips in the right sort of sequence for the story that we want to tell. Now you'll notice as I'm working, we have the toolbar on the left side of the timeline. And some of the most important tools that you're going to be using are the selection tool and the cut tool. So you want to get familiar with those shortcuts too, V and C. And you have other tools there as well, such as the type and text tool. But if I press V, I can always get my selection tool so I can start arranging things how I want. And if I press C, I can always get my cut tool. So let's say I didn't need this much of the clip. I can always cut and delete. Another really useful thing is with your selection tool, you can just trim the ends of clips in or out just by clicking and dragging, which you'll use all the time. Another really useful editing tip is ripple delete. So if I have been editing and everything's in the right sequence, but there's these spaces in between the clip, I can click and actually select the spaces in between the clip. And if you press the delete key on your keyboard, Premiere will automatically slide everything together so you have one solid sequence. Another useful tool in this and many programs is just undo. So let's say I trimmed a clip and moved it, but I want to go back. You can just press Command Z a couple times and you have a nice history of undo functions you can go forward and back from. The shortcuts for those are Command Z, but you can always undo and redo in the edit drop down. And with these and many other shortcuts that are available to you, you can work back and forth between your project media bin to add clips, add music, and arrange and cut together a project of your liking. And on the right hand side, you can do things like add effects to clips. So let's say I wanted to add some sort of Gaussian blur on this clip to add some blur for some reason, maybe to add a text title over top, or I just wanted to add a simple video transition. I have my whole video transitions folder and I can click and drag transitions in between clips. You'll see it appear there. And you can also just right click and apply the default crossfade transition in between any two clips. If I wanted to add a title preset from the essential graphics panel, I can click and drag that onto the timeline on a layer above the other layers. And in this panel, I can select that text and write something else of my liking with the text tool. And these are just preset graphic templates, but you can even create your own animations and text titles if you want as well. Along with the effects, we also have our Lumetri color panel where we could select any clip and color correct and do things like change the exposure, maybe fix up the saturation or the brightness and contrast. So you have this nice seamless workflow where you can stack clips, start telling your story, and then add effects, transitions, titles in between them all and constantly just play it back left and right until you're happy with your product. Once you're satisfied with your basic edit, you can go to File, Export, and Export Media to open up the export settings. And here you can either match the settings of the original clip or choose simple presets such as YouTube 1080p HD. You can choose a name for your file and where you want this to be exported onto your hard drive or desktop and either add it to the queue in Adobe Media Encoder or simply export it from here and wait for your project to finish exporting. And that's a basic introduction to editing a simple project and some simple editing tools in Adobe Premiere Pro. You can watch all of the episodes of this series in a playlist on the Adobe Creative Cloud YouTube channel and check out hundreds of other tutorials with myself and other experts. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.